Hey guys, welcome to VTeachAcademy.com, and here in this presentation, we are going to discuss an example on trigonometric ratios of compound angles. So here, the given example is: evaluate the value of cos square theta plus cos square two pi by three plus theta plus cos square two pi by three minus theta. And now, we can write this equation in the form of cos theta whole square plus cos 2 pi by 3 plus theta whole square plus cos 2 pi by 3 minus theta whole square. And now let us replace 2 pi by 3 which is nothing but 120 degrees. So here by replacing we get cos theta whole square plus cos 120 degrees plus theta whole square plus cos 120 degrees minus theta whole square. And now this is in the form of cos a plus b and here it is in the form of cos a minus b. So we already know the formula of cos a plus b which is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and then the formula for cos a minus b which is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So here by using both this formula we can expand cos 120 degrees plus theta and cos 120 degrees minus theta. So let us expand and rewrite. So here we get cos theta whole square plus cos 120 degrees into cos theta minus sine 120 degrees into sine theta. And here there is a square so let us write a square here plus cos 120 degrees minus theta. And now let us expand this. So by expanding we get here cos 120 degrees into cos theta plus sine 120 degrees into sine theta. So the here also there is a square so let us write whole square here. And now this is in the form of a minus b whole square plus a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab plus the expansion of a plus b whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2ab. And here plus 2ab and minus 2ab gets cancelled as we have opposite signs. So we get here a square plus b square plus a square plus b square which is nothing but 2 times of a square plus b square. So here we can write this in the form of cos theta whole square plus 2 times of a square plus b square. So here we get 2 times of a square that is cos 120 degrees into cos theta whole square plus b square that is sine 120 degrees into sine theta whole square. And now let us find the value for cos 120 degrees. And now we already know the value of cos 120 degrees which is equal to minus 1 by 2 and the value of sine 120 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2. So substituting both the values of cos 120 degrees and sine 120 degrees we get here cos theta whole square plus 2 times of the value of cos 120 degrees which is equal to minus 1 by 2 into cos theta whole square plus the value of sine 120 which is root 3 by 2 into sine theta whole square. And here let us simplify. So here we get cos theta whole square plus 2 times of 1 by 2 whole square that is 1 by 4 into cos square theta plus 2 times of root 3 by 2 whole square that is 3 by 4. So here we get 2 into 3 by 4 into sine square theta. And now let us simplify this. So here 2 1 time is 2 and 2 2 times is 4 and again 2 1 time is 2 and 2 2 times is 4. So that implies we get here cos square theta plus 1 by 2 cos square theta plus 3 by 2 sine square theta. And from here both the terms we can write cos square theta as the common factor. So by writing cos square theta as the common factor we get cos square theta into 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 sine square theta. So that implies we get here cos square theta into 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 into sine square theta. And then again writing 3 by 2 as the common factor. We get 3 by 2 into cos square theta plus sine square theta. So here by using the trigonometric identity that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So we get here 3 by 2 into 1 which is equal to 3 by 2. 
the value of cos square theta plus cos square 2 pi by 3 plus theta plus cos square 2 pi by 3 minus theta which is equal to 3 by 2. So, make a note of the formulas that is cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and the formula of cos a minus b which is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So, this was basic introduction on how to solve examples using the formulas of trigonometric ratios of compound angles. Hope you understood the concept and refer more videos on trigonometry on our website vdhacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.